This is Twit. Obviously, we've got a lot happening in the world For right sure. now, and especially in the in in the country, um, and it does tie into Android. So. Uh, Tomorrow morning was supposed to be an event. We were supposed to have the Android beta show. Google was going to have its kind of replacement event for uh, what we would have seen in a keynote at Google I.O. This had been planned for a little while. We were going to do live coverage here. But uh, last week, Google postponed its planned beta launch show uh, for Android 11 beta 1. Uh, he said in a tweet and in, in kind of announcing this, we're excited to tell you more about Android 11, but now is not the time to celebrate. We're postponing the June 3rd event in beta release. We'll be back with more on Android 11 soon. Um, so Google does seem to expect that this is going to be rescheduled at a later time. Um, but I think, you know, all things considered, so, so much is upside down right now. A uh, whole lot of, you know, people are the turmoil pain it's it's just a hard time right now and i think it, it felt a little like I'm, I'm happy to hear google do this and they, they made this decision not like just now not after like a weekend of of you know the protests and and kind of this this ongoing uh, emotionally fueled moment they did this last week they made the decision well in advance and i don't know i kind of i i respect google for making that decision and for delaying it for realizing maybe now is not the right time to have this big ballyhoo this big like celebration of something when we need to focus our attention on something that's just really important from a historical perspective well, yeah, and this is, and I mean, it's it's the same kind of issue that that we run into with doing the show. You know, I mean, like it's kind of with, you know, I know totally. at my day job, at my day job, you know, I'm a content creator and and social media and stuff like that. And yesterday, I I pa I stopped everything. I paused it. I said I said there's this isn't the time to be shilling our wares or 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 all this sort of stuff. You know, and and you want to have a a respect and a uh, you know kind of a, a a serious approach to the world around you. Um, but also, you know, we talked about it before doing the show today and it was kind of like, well, you know, but, you know, it is relevant because we had this cancellation and because it actually does, you know, our audience, you know, a lot of audiences are looking for distraction or looking for other, you know, kind of other things in the world. Um, but, you know, you can't you just can't ignore it. You got to everything. Everything we do in terms of media and communication is affected by it. And you got to be cognizant of that. Yeah. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Yeah. So, um, so we don't know when they're going to, uh, reschedule this. Um, if, and, and I mean, as we get further into the summer, I mean, it really just kind of depends on how, how this moment plays out. Right. Um, there, there, there could entirely be a situation where there is no event and it's just kind of like, yep, here's the update. It happens. Um, and in fact, Ron, you have the next story, which kind of makes it seem like in some ways, even without the event, we're still, or at least a few people are still getting mm -hmm. the update. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so, yeah. So a few, a few Pixel Four devices actually got the beta rolled out anyway, um, which is fascinating. Um, and so uh, some of the folks who did get it shared some details with the folks over at XDA. Um, and here are some features of the beta one for Android 11: um, developer options setting that moves the music player notification into the quick settings panel. Um, new icon shape options, uh, pebble, tapered rectangle, quote unquote vessel, which I feel like we're going to need to zoom in on and take a look at, um, yeah. right. Uh, some big changes to the power menu, uh, settings that include home automation, shortcuts and controls. Um, and that's actually enabled in conjunction with an update to the latest home app, uh, contextual hot seat on the pixel launcher, uh, which is basically app suggestions in the bottom row of icons. If you opt into it. Um, and then a subtle reorganization for app bu app bubbles. Um, so we're seeing some pretty, you know, with beta one, some pretty significant UI interface changes and and kind of uh, changes to the way you interact with the operating system. Uh, now I don't have a Pixel Four, so I did not get this beta. Um, I don't know anyone who got it. Uh, Jason Flo, do you know anybody who got it? Or? No, I was crossing my fingers, but no, I didn't. I didn't inadvertently get it. <laughs> I was hoping so. But I think having, yeah. I think I didn't what get it's it. Aimed. Yeah, <laughs> Chad didn't get Beta Four on his <laughs> iOS device. Well, Chad that's the funny thing is that that's the funny thing is that actually Chad woke up and got it and was like, "This is weird. I should be on all of an Android." Like, mm. <laughs> yeah, dismiss. Don't don't need that. 
that would install be tomorrow, news. install later. <laughs> so of what we've seen from Android 11 so far, like what, what stands like, does anything stand out to you? Um, and you know, maybe, maybe it's even hard to remember, like even me, like, I feel like I've installed these, these updates and there's not a whole lot to really point at and be like, Oh my goodness, that's the key feature. Like, is it the integration of smart home controls in the power menu, which seems neat. Like I actually would you totally use that on a regular basis with the hue bulbs that we have in this house. Um, but I don't know if that's like, if, if that's like the, the critical, like this is the thing that people are really going to want to upgrade to Android 11 for. I don't know that we've necessarily seen that yet. Should we at this point? It's a good Let's question out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. It deserves a good answer. <laughs> Anyways, Flo was thinking about us. it. You stumped us for some reason. Uh, I think because I'm still trying to wrap my head around what the significance is behind smart home controls and the notifications panel. Because I'll tell you, yeah. I've been using a third party app that spoofs that feature. And now I actually brought this app to the arena and I thought that it would be something that would increase productivity and in whatever my interface usage. But, um, I actually find it to be kind of annoying and I can't, mm. it just feels like, um, I don't know. There's nothing super exciting about any of this right now. And I, and I yeah. hope that's not, that doesn't seem too like harsh, but it's like, Yay, okay, we're going to get an update. We're getting a couple new things. And I don't know if this is just because we're not having an event this year. Um, I don't know if it's because we're not naming things after desserts anymore. But it just feels like, okay, some it's of, an internet some magic, update. Some of the magic is gone. Chad, did you know that they ditched the dessert thing? Did you hear about that? Oh, yeah, I had heard yeah. that. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I did know about that. It, it, it uh, was ele Is 11 the first to ditch it? Because I thought yeah. it was before ten, that. Ten, okay. what, ten well, oh, yeah, I forgot yeah, ten. about ten. <laughs> yeah. See, you don't remember it because it wasn't named after dessert. Well, no, like, ten had this like ten had this like secret dessert name that was never quite given to it because it was the first one without the dessert yeah. name. But like there was one like internally going around. So yeah, it's a little. But on the uh, there was a lot of mystery, even even though ultimately there was no public dessert release with ten. There was still a lot of mystery, a lot of guessing, and a exactly. lot of like back. Behind the scenes dessert talk, which apparently and like now, well, yeah, I mean it's I it's see... the it's it's the dessert back channel. I mean it's a secret yeah. IRC channel that you need to get into <laughs> that's just talking about desserts in the internet and like Android is super a huge topic of it. And in fact, I'm <laughs> it's just a matter of time before we find out what the secret Android 11 dessert name is. It would have been. I would R, like to right? think that there's like a speakeasy somewhere on Google's campus that if you speak the dessert, if you can use the it's dessert as a password it. to get into. Then yes. you, you'll gain access into the speakeasy that you're part so, of the club. So it was it was it was going to be R, right? Yeah. So Reese's. this so is dessert. Yeah. We yeah. haven't discussed this yet. Could we just come up? Could we just come up with our own? Yeah. Why not? Sure. I mean, sure. you got red, you got you got red velvet cake. You got yeah, rice red, crispy red treat. Vines. Red, red vines. vines. You got yeah. You got rice pudding. Oh, okay. Now, wait, is 11 going to be R or was 10 no. R? W would have 10 been. 10 was Q. I mean, 10 was 10 Q. Was Q. Okay. Yeah. 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 If there, if there no, were Jay still dessert releases, then 11 would be R and Jason, it would be way easier to name than Q. Uh, last don't let go. Year, so. don't, don't let go. Don't add the modifier if it were. Like, like you got to own it. We got to say, listen, 11 <laughs> is R. It I'm is. I'm holding on. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say uh, Rocky Road. Uh, ooh, that's oh, a, you're actually gonna put a good one. Marshmallows. Oh, why is Rocky Road? Are you choosing that because that ice cream is an amalgamation of different kinds of sweets? Because there's marshmallows in it. Got like everything in there. There's nuts I hadn't in thought there. That, I, like I just, hadn't thought yeah. that far, but I'll I'll take I'll I'll take it. I'll pretend I did. Well, because uh, uh, think about it, Android 11 is really just an amalgamation of all these other versions of Android. <laughs> That's true. That's the best that we have right now. It's an amalgamation of all the features with a couple of smart home controls in it. Does iOS <laughs> does iOS have a, kind of like a unified smart home uh, control aspect? Yeah, don't you yes. guys? You guys have that in Apple Home. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, so yeah. So we got uh, the Apple Home Kit, which is kind yes. of the that's the name yeah. of the like platform, but you just have a home app. Um, but right. that's all okay. in Control Center. So. Control we don't center, have, right. So we don't have the cool like 
inline widgets inside of your notifications. Your notifications is just your notifications and you have a separate area to pull down if you want to get to widget like things, which is control center. <clears throat> and I use that all the time because well, I have go. my thermostats on stuff. I have lights on stuff. Um, and so I, it's very simple. You just have to pull down from the, the opposite side to get to it. And then you have access to all your stuff. And so if I wanted okay. to change the, the thermostat right now, I could, and that's all built in. So I, that is what but, I would assume they're can, trying to simulate. Does that, does that, con does yeah. that control the changing light behind you? <laughs> no, that's oh, different. Okay. Yeah. 